Hey folks, this is Jay Pac-Man here, bringing you another gaming video. Today we're going to be talking about Player Unknown's Battlegrounds and how they don't like AMD CPUs apparently. So I've got a new 2700X AMD Ryzen CPU here, and uh, let's just open up uh, PUBG TSL game here and see what it does. Wow, 1,400 frames. That's a lot of frames. And close. So, what you'll find is if you go to your C drive, program files 86, common files, battle eye, that when you open up PUBG, this BE Daisy file gets made. And you go through and you wait for PUBG to open up. But what's going to happen is when PUBG stops working, this DAISY file is going to unload, which you can see via Event Viewer. And you just watch it disappear. So if I go to Event Viewer, we can make this big and we go to Windows Logs, Applications, I believe. Is this the right one? No. System. There it is. 642. That was just a couple seconds ago. And you can see that BE Daisy successfully unloaded. And here's where you can see that it loaded. And so that's what's actually happening. Now I'm going to show you guys how to at least get around this for the experimental test server. We're going to try it again in regular PUBG. We'll see what happens. Um, but uh, so what you need to do is you need to open up Task Manager. Just press Alt Control Delete, go to Task Manager. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to go to Details. And where the file loads is at the bottom of the details page. Um, I believe I have mine on name right now, so that's why it loads on the bottom. But uh, you can click on whatever you want it to pop up at. But I know that it always loads at the bottom. So we'll go ahead and open up Player Unknown's Battlegrounds. You see the TSL game BE, that's the Battle Eye. Um, you don't want the Battle Eye one, then you want to go to TSL game, set affinity. You want to turn off all cores, go to zero and uh, just have one thread enabled and it will load the game. Now what it was doing two days ago uh, is it would say that uh, it could not uh, connect to Steam or something along those lines. Yeah, there it is, failed to initialize Steam. And so um, I had this working using this method uh, for two or three games and then the, <laughs> then they updated again and now I get this failed to initialize Steam. So it's like that's something that they really don't want. It's like they don't want you to play on an AMD fucking uh, CPU. I, I don't know what their bias is, but this is some bullshit. So anyhow, so we'll just end task because it's obviously useless. And if we go to the test server, you'll see I'll open up test server here. And uh, the experimental test server will do the exact same thing unless you set that affinity to zero. It won't load. It will just drop out uh, from the PV uh, or BE Daisy file. So close without sending. So then if we go to test server and we open it up again, there's our battle eye. And then here will be our game file. There's our game file, set affinity, all processors, turn it off, set it to one. And so where the failure to load actually occurs is at the lobby. This works just fine. It's this lobby. It loads a bit slow because it's only on one core. You can actually do two, but it's just simpler to only click one at a time. Um, and then as soon as we're into the lobby here, as you can see, we're in, everything's good. You can come back, you've got a set affinity, all processing cores, all of them back on. 
Now what you'll see happen is, let me switch this to solo real fast. After we get into a game, if I don't set the affinity back to one core, when the game closes, it will crash, but it won't do that when you set it back to one or two cores, uh, or one or two threads, rather. Uh, so there's something to do with uh, the way that the game is talking to Ryzen and uh, its many cores. Um, but so if I go to exit lobby right now, game crashes. So we'll do the same thing again. Get our Task manager up here, double click. I've been seeing this on tons of threads since March 9th. This has been a problem. I hope this video helps. Y'all can see that uh, I did it multiple times where uh, the game won't open unless you set it to one core. So uh, I hope this helps some people. Uh, I know that it got me at least playing again, so I'm, I'm happy about that. But uh, uh, hopefully this helps the people at PUBG fix the situation. This is definitely what the problem is. It has to do with the way that it's allocating cores on that lobby. So, anyhow, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll have some more videos out soon. Thanks for watching.